now that we have some AMA clips inside the bin that we can work with, we can start to get ready to transcode our footage. Now, the first thing to remember is clips always relink using the start time code and the tape ID or another setting that you choose. Some shows use disc label, some use tape name. Uh, I'm going to use tape ID. Um, but first you need to change your bin display or your, your bin columns. So you do that by right clicking on one of the columns at the top here inside the bin and go to choose columns. And I want to, it'll show you all your options for different columns. So I'm going to go scroll down to, I have start, that start time code. The tape ID is already selected. So that's what I want. Tape ID and start time code is already on. So I'll hit OK. And now I need to expand the bin a little bit so I can see all the different options here. So there's start time code and tape ID. And you can click and drag the column I'm going to click and drag it to the left and so I can move these over to the front and move tape ID over here. Now I just want start time code at the front. Start time codes right here. So you can move it around how you want it. So for this example, I'm going to, I'm going to reassign a start time code for these clips. Now, when you get footage from the field, it's already going to have a, a time code because uh, shows and movies always record footage with using time of day time code. So, Usually you won't have to do this unless you're working with an iPhone, in which case, like I'm using iPhone footage right now. Um, so I'm going to have to give it a start time code. Or if you're using footage that came from like a GoPro, for example. So you can reassign the start time code just by clicking on the time code and then type in what you want the time code to be. So I'll make it uh, uh, zero one zero 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 and this box will come up saying this clip has associated media are you sure you want to change its starting time code and click OK and it'll give you another box that pops up and click OK and you can see now that clip has the hour one start time code and I'll go to the next clip I'll type in 01030000. Okay, okay. And I'll make this one 02. Zero two zero 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 zero. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to rename this one and give that one O one one zero. Hit OK. And again, so you can click inside the time code. And just type in what you want it to be. Zero one one five zero zero. And then hit enter. And then click OK. OK. And that's all you need to do to rename the start time code. And for tape ID, um, usually when you get footage from the field, it'll have a, a camera load number. Now, this is just footage I saw it on my iPhone, so. I don't have a camera load number, so I can make one up. 
um, a, I'll call it A for A cam. I'll call it B. This is B roll. So B, and then today, today's date. All right. So now I renamed that clip so it has a, a camera load number that I made up. So at the end, I'll put zero zero one. And th this uh, little arrow right here, you can click and drag it to the left or right. So I'm going to move that farther to the right. So when you uh, use the scroll bar in the bin, that will adjust how the how the bin scrolls. And you can also expand the columns here. So I'm going to expand the name column. And then I'm going to click inside the name of this clip and then copy this camera load number, command C, and then paste it into this, the next clip. Make that one zero, zero, 002. And do that for the next clip. Make it zero, zero, 003. All right. So, oh, actually, these would all be zero zero one because they're from the same camera load. So when you've got that, then I'm going to take this camera load number, copy it, and paste it into tape ID. And again, you just click inside the tape ID box and then hit paste and it'll paste it right in there. Okay, so now you can see each clip has a tape ID, which is the camera load number and a unique start time code. And that's what you want. And so that's how you rename your clips and give it a tape ID and start time code.